How long, have you, how long have you had a gnome in your backyard? I, we, my wife has six gnomes back there. There's six of them? There's six. Do you ever put one of them on your stove? Why would I put them on my stove? Gnome, gnome on the range. Thank you. That was a really dumb joke. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. It's the glam. Today, this is called VJ Sarapathy. Sarapathy acting philosophy. I gossed it. I gossed it. I gossed it. Gossed it right. This is a video essay done by a movie buff on Vijay Sarabhati's style of acting and how he remains fresh and accepted in the eyes of the audience. I found it interesting, so thought we'd share it with you. Cool. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, Vijay Sarabhati, who we like a lot. Everything, very, very Everything much. we've seen him in, uh, we've liked so far. Yeah. Uh, from his performance in Super Deluxe to 96. Yeah. To, I, I don't know if those are the only two I've, we've seen. There's one more. I think there's one more, but I... I don't remember what it was. Um, There's a younger one, I think, we saw. Is it a younger performance of his? I thought so. Probably. Uh, uh, anyway. But I forget. So it's like a, a video essay. Cool. Um, somebody made about his acting style. Here let, we go. Us, let us see. He's an actor. Hi, my name is Kishore, and this is Movie Images. Cool. Since making a splash with great with a beard. Three movies as a lead, Vijay Sethupathi has embodied a very particular kind of acting that comes across as coolly distant and a bit ironic. In a very few years, Sethupathi has transcended from a promising lead to that of a star and one of the busiest actors in the business today. But releasing back-to-back -back movies and still remaining fresh and distinct is truly a challenge. And in Sethupathi's case, a constant criticism on his alleged lack of differentiation among the characters he plays. This is the lack of differentiation? Maybe it's popular ones that we haven't seen. Today, we are exploring the acting philosophy of Vijay Sethupadi, where we try to understand how he approaches each role and why the audience never seemed to get enough of him. Is that him? Apparently so. Good prosthetics. For my signature. Have you ever noticed how in many Vijay Sethupadi's movies, he doesn't seem to be taking the plot seriously? He stands slightly at a distance from what is happening around him to maintain a dry and sarcastic commentary. I haven't seen that. I have not noticed that. This was very apparent in Nadola Kunja Pakatakanam, where the whole plot revolved around Sethupadi being removed from his reality. Sivaji Sethupadi! Or especially when he played Das in Sudhakabu. Das lives in a world of his own that is detached from the plot. Vijayas is attached to his characters but is also detached from the plot that he can deflate an otherwise serious scene. In most characters Vijayas plays, he seems to acknowledge the absurdity of the plot the character has put in. He deflates the climax in Vikram Veda by being nonchalant about enemies shooting him. His character has lost everyone he loved and hence he finds it absurd that he has to live on. This approach to each of his roles follow the philosophy of absurdism. In philosophy, the absurd refers to the conflict between the human tendency to seek inherent value and meaning in life and the human inability to find any in a purposeless, meaningless universe. As a philosophy, absurdism furthermore explores how individuals, once becoming conscious of the absurd, should respond to it. The absurdist philosopher Albert Camus stated that individuals should embrace the absurd condition of human existence 
while also defiantly continuing to explore and search for meaning. The characters which he says that he plays in each film acknowledges the absurd nature like of their roles, and yet the still name tries to way find better than I say. It. <laughs> this by itself is something of a subplot that Vijay has created. It doesn't even sound like what I say. Not only does the film revolve around the main story, but we get to see how his characters deal with the story. This is why Vijay is one of those rare actors who is such a treat to observe both on and off screen. His ironic acting is unique. Ironic acting. Irony. I don't know what that means. means that the character's we're, words are so far we're not talking about his the audience, philosophy of acting. It's his philosophy of role selection. Vijay takes it a step uh, further. And script analysis. Ooh, what's his that? Ironic performances are such that the oh, character doesn't that realize That's the him. meaning of his words or actions, but the audience know that Vijay said what he knows. For instance, in his latest outing as Rasool, a cop caught in the middle of brothers warring against each other in Chekka Chivandavanam, his character's reaction to one of the brothers war criers. <laughs> Vijayas sees his character as almost godlike, who knows how the story is going to end. He uses his knowledge of the entire plot and how the movie is going to end to play Rasool. So the motivations and aspirations of each brother just comes across as a joke and absurd to him since he knows he's going to kill them all at the end. So Rasul doesn't know how the film is going to end, but we know that Vijay Sirvadi knows. Hence, it is a fun watch to see Vijay as play his wisecracking nonchalant self in an otherwise serious movie. Oh, what are you doing? The undistinguishable nature between Vijayas and the characters he plays have actually paid a way for his audience to identify with those characters. They understand without much explanation why his character reacts a certain way as they have come to realize that this is how Vijayas would react. The actions and motivation of the on-screen oh, characters VJS portrays are determined by the writers, but how his character reacts is entirely VJ Sedbadi. Until next time, this is Kishore signing off saying. <laughs> <laughs> I I consider that more like you said more about his role selection than his actual acting philosophy. Absolutely. Maybe we just have different um, thoughts on what an acting philosophy is. <laughs> that, that like, I mean, I guess when you take into consideration like his that, characters, might, I, I, when you take into consideration the choices of a role and the way you analyze a script that does all come into the broad spectrum of your philosophy. Yeah. But what I was anticipating, when you say an actor's philosophy, what we're talking about is technique and approach to the way you yeah. portray people. Maybe I was just looking at it. Yeah, can that's can what I was it? anticipating. Yeah, I was, I was coming into it thinking of like, like that, like him talking about his, this, his philosophy of acting. Yeah, the, uh, the way he goes about doing what he does in terms of his, his, uh, his process. Not that... His characters just know they're ironic, which I guess is part of what you would come into play if, like, you knew a character. Like, because obviously films do know that. Like, the characters, like, that could be a part of what a character is. But I don't know that I would consider it an acting philosophy. No, unless he yeah. has already predetermined that irrespective of whatever script has been written or what the director wants to do, he said... All of my characters are going to be ironic, whether the writer or the director wants them to be or not, because that's what I'm going to do I with just, my characters. It doesn't seem like he's that guy to me. No, me uh, neither. And, the two, and that's not really a philosophy. That's a dictatorial yeah. stance. The two that I know that I, I know him from specifically are not like that for sure. Uh, 96 and, and Super Deluxe for yeah. sure aren't like that. No, neither one of them are. I, the one his character in Super Deluxe was pretty subdued. As with, I, I, was the right. There was no absurdity. Yeah. But obviously, you know. in fact, he was the one thing in, my, in Super Deluxe that I found to be the most grounded that I enjoyed and didn't see either the absurdist nature of it or the disconnect from the plot. Yeah. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? Now, there may be a common, there may be a common 
theme that are being picked up by other people and that is Maybe. their philosophy of his work. Maybe. But I don't know but that I'll... this is his philosophy of his work. But also, we've only seen, like, what, two of his films as well. Yeah. So it's not like we're experts on VJ whatever he said no, his last name was. I say Sarapathy, but that didn't sound like what he was saying his last name was. No. But it, it, his is probably correct. His I'm pronunciation. sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I was just expecting a little, a little different of more about his actual acting technique, philosophy, than, Process. than, yeah. than what uh, the video gave me. But I will watch more Vijay Sadapathy, not Sadapathy, Sadapathy uh, films. Let us know what should be the next of his films that we should watch down below. <laughs> Tuk mata cerdik.